Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learningdslrvideo.com. I'm a big fan of how Jared from Just Basil Productions does his product reviews on Vimeo. He uses the turntable along with the slider, which gives his videos a ton of interest. Since I've been doing a lot of product reviews lately, I thought I'd try out his technique to see if it kind of fits within my style. So I contacted Jared and he was nice enough to give me some pointers. But I needed to first find a turntable that could handle some weight. Then I remembered old Perry Jenkins' video from Digital Juice TV. So I took Perry's advice and went to the hardware store and picked up a 16 inch circular wood disc from Lowe's, a 6 inch Lazy Susan bearings from Home Depot that would provide the bed for the rotation. And then I found a really old rotisserie motor for $10 on Craigslist. This thing is really old. I'm guessing 20 years old and it looked like it cooked a ton of birds. The motor was perfect because it would provide just the right rotation speed for me. All of these links to these products I'll put in my blog post on my site. I took the motor out of the casing because I needed to lubricate it and I really didn't need the casing anyway. I thought I'd need a variable speed motor, but I really didn't because the speed was perfect at six cycles per minute. If I wanted to slow it down, like the footage down slightly, I could over crank at 30 frames per second and then conform down to 24 frames per second, which actually worked pretty well if I needed it to be just slightly slower. I mounted the motor to the wood box I built and then I mounted the bearings to the box. If you want to see detailed instructions, definitely go check out Perry's video because I'm not going to repeat it because he did an excellent job. I then cut the skewer with a hacksaw blade and then mounted it into the wood disc just like Perry did and glued it and let it dry for 24 hours. I then spackled the wood and then painted it with some black paint. After using it for about a day, the metal skewer came loose from the wood disc. So I went back to the hardware store and picked up some L brackets and mounted it in so the skewer wouldn't move and that worked pretty well. After I built it, I had to test it out and my girls came to see what I was doing because they could hear the motor running and that we had fun trying out all their different toys that they wanted to try. It's kind of a cool way to help maybe help out tell a story, like I went out and drank too much Grand Marnier the other night, came home and then boom I had to take some Pepto. Or perhaps the wood blocks needed some glue. So within no time I had a turntable that could handle up to 15 pounds of weight for just $20. So after a while of using this I got tired of plugging in and unplugging it every time I wanted to turn it on and off so I found an old halogen light that I've used that I hadn't used for a while and I disassembled the switch on it and used it as a foot switch. Perhaps in another video I'll show you how more in depth of how I lit it and how I used the slider. Um, but just really quick, I just used one $25 halogen work light I bought years ago and one bounce card. That's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.